Hey, it's Video Guy 316, also known as Doug. And today, well, today, if you think you've seen my collection, you haven't seen the half of it. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning back in. So today we're gonna have a whole video about half grades. Uh, we're gonna do a VR today for our friend Billy over at the card pile. So Billy has asked uh, people to show their half grade cards and surprisingly in my collection, a lot of my cards are half grades. So we're gonna run quickly through them, but first we'll give a shout out to, uh, to Billy over at the card pile and his information will be in the description uh, box below. Just check him out. Uh, that's what we do in this community. We support each other. So uh, just again, uh, link will be in the description below. I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to take a look at the half graded cards. Okay, now that the camera's turned around, we're going to roll through these pretty quickly. Uh, most of these pretty quickly and I'll stop on a few just to highlight. But we're starting off with a couple Yankee contributors here in the 33 Gaudi and the 52 Tops. Uh, shout out to uh, Adam at Vintage Sanctuary on the Ed Lopat. I enjoy him as well. So let's switch these out and we'll bring in another 52 Tops Yankee contributor. With there and there and a 62 tops uh, with Bill Moose uh, scouring. So got those in three and a half and two and a half respectively. And now we can start in on a couple of Hall of Famers. We have the 53 Bowman Color George Kell in a wonderful 2.5 as well as the Johnny Bench in a 2.5. Kel I've had for a while. Um, I've uh, nearly completed his player run, and uh, there's a few cards to get of, of his yet. But uh, and Johnny Bench is a player that I would uh, like to collect more of. Uh, I'd like to have his uh, rookie card and uh, maybe a better example of uh, his uh, 69 here. So next... A new addition to my collection in the Jackie Robinson and Minnie Minoso I've had for a little while. Uh, the Robinson in the two and a half and the Minoso in a four and a half. Great uh, Hall of Fame players. With the addition of the Jackie, I, I really just love this card. Um, I love the color and, uh, you know, it's not too much, uh, there's not, not too much snowing on it, and uh, it's pretty centered well, uh, side to side, so I really enjoy that. Um, and you can't go wrong with Mini Minoso either. So we're going to adjust here, and hopefully not too much glare. But we have the Yastrzemski Ricky in a wonderful 4.5. Next. I think I'll transition to uh, Yankee Great, not a Hall of Famer, though I think he should be. Um, and we're going to go with Thurman Munson here with his rookie card. The 1970 in a 2.5 and the iconic 71, which I just got back from grading uh, not too long ago. Um, I had bought it raw, really worried about it, but it came back at a 4.5 and uh, I was very, very pleased uh, that one it graded and then uh, 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 came back as a 4.5 as well. So. Again, not a Hall of Famer, but in my mind, he should be. Let's show some of my favorite cards now, which is the 55 Bowmans. And uh, if you don't like them, well, you can skip ahead. But I encourage you to stick around because I like them. They're nostalgic for me. I really, really enjoy them. 
So we're gonna start off with Rivals. Phil Rizzuto and Roy Campanella. 4.5 and a 2.5 we've got. Again, I really love the Bowmans. Let's see if we can get these. Take Mr. Rizzuto away and we'll do do Goodrow. And we'll change out Mr. Campanella and put in Mr. Matthews. Shout out to Pastor Craig or Pastor Craig's cards. So let's go next with Robin Roberts in a beautiful 2.5. And then we'll change these guys out. Let's go with Don Drysdale. Now, I know Pastor Craig had recently shown his Don Drysdale run. I'm gonna show part of mine. I do have his complete run. These are the half graded cards, and so that's the purpose of this video. So that's what I'm showing today. We know the story behind this one of course with the stamp address on it it was well loved by somebody and so that's his rookie in a 1.5 and the all-star in a 4.5 so we'll switch these out his 63 and his 67 that's and Let's see if we can slide in here with one more. And that is his 68. The 63 and a 5.5, uh, that was part of my original and first SGC submission uh, back a, uh, a couple years ago now, I guess it's been. And I got a 5.5 on it when it came back and so I was really, really happy with that. Uh, and then, of course, we have his 67 in a 3.5 and the 68 in a 4.5. That one, um, this one I really like. The corners were sharp on it. Really, really like that one for a submission. So again, uh, had that submitted. Uh, the other two I had bought already graded. Let's now switch some gears. Oops, you heard that. We're going to go with the chairman of the board here. And let's, uh, I'm not sure if I can fit these all in with the horizontal. So we'll just start with here for right now. So, um, now why is this a 2.5? Well, I don't know that I've examined it in a while. That probably has some issue with it. But it doesn't matter to me, 2.5 or not. So, just love the Bowmans. And then I have his 67 in a 5.5 as well. So, this one here I bought at a card show. I uh, got it fairly cheap. What I felt was cheap um, a while ago. But, uh, you know, it's off-center. But uh, it's beautifully off center to me so we will switch mr. forward out and I'm gonna spend some time last member here we are going to do two great horizontal cards here and we're gonna just to adjust here there we go his 55 Bowman in a 2.5. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, I really appreciate that card. Uh, it was kind of a dream card to get for me um, at the time. Because um, as part of the 55 Bowman Hall of Fame run, Mantle, Maze, and Aaron. Um, Mantle, I got pretty early on just so I could um, 
I mean, being a Yankees fan, I, I gravitate uh, towards Yankees players anyway. So I really wanted him. But then the 56 was just a fairly recent pickup for me in the white back. So really, really enjoy those two. Very, very happy that they are part of my collection. And then the last two that I am going to show are the 59 and the 50, or in the 62, sorry. So the 59, uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know the story on it, uh, that I got it early on in, in the early days of my marriage when I was dirt poor. Um, but uh, my loving wife, uh, you know, convinced me to pick this one up raw. Had it graded in my first SGC submission uh, when I graded the uh, Drysdale. And it came back at 3.5. And then the 62 is a, a recent pickup uh, for me this year. But I want to look at this 59 closer because the corners on this are sharp. And I often wonder the back so it's a little dingy. But I love the Christmas colors on it. But I often wonder what this card would have graded had it been centered. Your guess is as good as mine. But there, I will leave you with Mr. Mantle as the parting shot on this. Please check out uh, Billy's channel over at the card pile. This is the, you know, story on my half-graded cards, and that's the whole truth. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.